Hey, John here with MarshallMotorFreight.com and today we're going to talk about how to clear up your foggy lenses with yellow lenses. Lenses got all cloudy from just wear and tear over time, oxidation and abuse from the sun which can fade your headlights which is not only a, a attractiveness or a cosmetic feature but also is a safety feature because if you got cloudy headlights you're going to have dim headlights which doesn't, doesn't uh, put enough light on the road at night so you want to make sure your headlights are stay uh, clear and shine at their brightest. So first thing you should have is a some kind of cordless drill, or you can have a corded drill, just depending on your setup. So a cordless drill, and now what I use is this Mother's Power Plastic, Power Plastic for lights, and then some kind of. This is what I use to buff out the lens once I polish them. So right now we're gonna go through the process, and I'm gonna set things up. All right, so as you see here, I got some cloudiness on my 2007 Volvo 780. And you see the light, the lens is starting to get cloudy, it's starting to yellow. And so the lights are starting to not be as effective shining their light. And I've seen on the road drivers where the light is pretty much completely yellow. Almost like it almost looked like there's a cover on it. So I don't know how they're seeing it at night. So we're going to start the process of polishing this up. And uh, let's see how it turns out. All right, so you're gonna grab your bottle, the mothers, you know, shake it, shake it up real good. And as you see, this isn't my first go around. I've been using this for a while, so I'm not doing this as an experiment. I'm doing this because I know it works. I just want to share this with with you. So if you're having this yellowing issue, whether it's a car, a truck, whatever it is, if it has a plastic lens, this will potentially help clear that up. Now there are, uh, there are uh, situations where the discoloration isn't just on the outside, it's on the inside. And in that case, you have to pretty much either replace the whole cover, the whole lens, or just buy a whole new light. So, you know, we can't do nothing about much about where it's fading on the inside. But let's just hope this damage is mostly on the outside. And this will be my first time actually doing this truck because these are actually new or newer. Like these have already been replaced. And these lights themselves are probably only a few years old, but the truck's been sitting for a little bit and they got yellow just from the abuse of the sun. So like I said, you wanna shake this up real good. And you wanna apply it right to the sponge that comes in your kit. And you wanna apply pressure, smear it around a little bit to prevent overspray. And then just buff out side to side. You don't have to push too hard, let the, let the ball do the work. And since this is such a big lens, I might have to apply more. Because you don't want this to get dry, because it'll start scratching the lens. Good enough, we'll let that sit for a few. All right, so grab my buffer, buffer pad, and we'll just buff this out. All right, I don't know how good you can see that. Let me bring you a little closer. Look how clear that is. Now, sure, it's not brand new clear, but definitely better than how it was. Look at that. So, yeah, looks pretty good. All right, so the next step, which is completely op uh, optional, to make this lens or make what you just did last longer, so it'll prevent it from at least from fading and yellowing uh, again faster. Go get yourself some of this 303 protectant, and you can get this, you know, pretty much anywhere. AutoZone, Advanced Auto, 
order it online on Amazon. But this is Advanced 303 Protectant, and this will help basically protect this lens so that way it won't fade as fast again. So basically, pretty much the same way you spray this on. And you want to put a, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but like a rag underneath your lens where you're spraying it and basically just wipe, just rub it in. Rub it in. And I do have a different, this is a different uh, buffer pad now. Of course, you don't want to use the same pad you just polish the lights with. You want to use a fresher you know, a microfiber towel or, you know, basically something fresh. Basically, rub that in real good. And, you know, this is part of your maintenance. People think maintenance is just changing your oil. Uh, checking and, and, and airing up your tires. I think maintenance is making sure the chassis is grease. But actually, part of the truck maintenance is keeping it up cosmetic, cosmetically. Because when you go through a scale, or DOT, or state trooper is passing you on the highway, and your truck looks like it's not well taken care of, well, that gives them a reason to pull you over to make sure. It's safe to be on the road. So if you're, you're rolling by, you got an old truck like this, 2007 Volvo, and they pass this truck on the road. I've been to, I've never been pulled behind the scales within in this truck because I keep it nice, I keep it clean, I, I take well care, I take real good care of it. And you know, they see that and they're like, oh, okay, there's no reason to pick on this guy because that truck's in good shape. So. <clears throat> you know, this. There you go. Let me get you a little closer here. I don't know if you can tell any different, but that pretty much looks like a brand new headlight housing, headlight assembly. So, yeah, do this with all your lights, not just your headlights. Do this with your clearance lights, tail lights, you know. all your lights all right so i'm gonna put a link to these products below this video or like i said you can get them at any automotive store or you know wherever you like to shop and get your get your stuff and like i said if you can't find them in your automotive store you can always go on amazon or somewhere online and find it but i'll put a link to amazon below this video and also some other links that you'll find uh, good resources for you to use to uh, help maintain your truck and help you build a uh, side income or what you could say a hot side hustle along with your main income so that's it for this video if you got some value out of it and you like these results check out the link below this video and i'll talk to you again in the next one